The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace to mark the upcoming Eid al-Adha holiday. The cabinet extended Eid greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the people of Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. The cabinet highlighted the importance of opening the reactive power compensation project at Rafah Station in conjunction with the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne, adding that the project Project will further the advancement of efficiency of the kingdom's infrastructure and electrical network and increase production capacity. The cabinet noted the loan agreement to finance the 400 kilovolt transmission line development project between the government of Bahrain and the Kuwait Fund for Development. The project is part of the kingdom's commitment to support infrastructure development programs and plans that contribute to the growth of vital sectors, adding that infrastructural projects are an essential foundation for achieving sustainable economic growth. The cabinet followed up on His Royal Highness's directives to the relevant entities to support Bahraini pilgrims participating in the Hajj season by providing them with the necessary services. In this regard, the cabinet reviewed the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf regarding the administrative and medical preparations made by concerned authorities to provide the best services for Bahraini pilgrims to facilitate their Hajj and commended the efforts made by Saudi Arabia to care for pilgrims. The cabinet extended its congratulations to students across all educational levels following the end of the 2023-2024 academic year and thanked their parents, the Ministry of Education and its educational and administrative staff for their efforts in serving and supporting the sector throughout the academic year. The cabinet also noted the ministry's commitment align to align itself with the best educational practices that reflect the kingdom's educational development in light of the cabinet's review of a report submitted by the Minister of Education regarding the conclusion of the second semester of the academic year. The cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding the Unified Bank Account System for a Commercial Establishments Project. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the Government's response to two laws and three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision on the allocation of some areas of Nwadi Labhair for nature reserves. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the General Directorate of Civil Defense and the U.S. National Fire Protection Association. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding cooperation agreement on fast-track patent examination between the Foreign Trade and Industrial Property Directorate of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce of Bahrain and U.S. Patent and Trademark Office of the U.S. Department of Commerce and a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture regarding the acquisition of several properties that will be used for the public benefit of urban development. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Youth Affairs regarding the Global Youth Development Index 2023. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. The outcomes of the participation in the 160th session of the GCC Ministerial Council and the joint ministerial meetings between the GCC, Turkey and Yemen. The outcomes of the participation on World Summit on the Information Society WSIS Plus 20 Forum 2024. The participation in the Vision Golf 2024. The participation in the 8th meeting of the Committee of GCC Ministers of Education and the 24th meeting of the Committee of the GCC Ministers of Higher Education and Scientific Research. And the outcomes of the official visit of the Minister of Industry and Commerce to Russia to participate in the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. The International Olympic Academy, the IOA, presented the Bahrain Olympic Academy with the Athena Honorary Distinction. The award was presented to the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, by the President of IOA, Isidorus Kovilas, at the Academy's award ceremony in Greece, in the presence of the President of the Hellenic Republic, Katerina Sakilaropoulou. The honoring came in recognition of Bahrain Olympic Academy's role in supporting the advancement of sports and its efforts and contributions to qualifying administrative and technical personnel in Bahrain and the region. 
The academy is an extension of the Bahrain Sports Institute, which was established at the initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, when His Majesty was the Crown Prince and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in 1981. The institute was transferred into a training and development center in 1990, later becoming the Bahrain Olympic Academy in 2017. The honorary award is a demonstration of the status reached by the academy under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. It has implemented high-level training programs to develop sports personnel such as the National Trainer Program in its four levels, the Advanced Sports Management Course, the Advanced Elite Coaches Course, and many others. Within the framework of the cooperation between the Bahrain Olympic Academy and the IOA and under the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the diploma program in Advanced Olympic Studies was conducted. It is the first educational program targeting athletes in Bahrain that covers various aspects of Olympic sports and represents an important step in Bahrain's commitment to promoting academic excellence and Olympic values. A parliamentary delegation headed by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, visited Brazil following an invitation by Brazil's Representatives Council Speaker, Arthur Cesar Lera. The visit aims to highlight Bahrain's achievements in all fields under the Comprehensive Development March of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The visit also comes within the framework of activating the parliamentary and diplomacy roles in enhancing the bilateral cooperation, as well as supporting international efforts and in instilling the values of peaceful coexistence, coordinating positions to achieve peace in the region, and provide the necessary support to hold the International Peace Conference in order to support Palestine, stop the war on Gaza, and facilitate the delivery of humanitarian aid. The visit will include a number of joint meetings to discuss ways to enhance the bilateral parliamentary cooperation. The Supreme Council for the Environment released 85,600 fish in several areas within the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina, affirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue enriching the fish stocks, increasing production, and contributing to achieving food security requirements by adopting many initiatives in order to reach the desired goals. The Minister praised the efforts of the work team in this regard that implemented the plan professionally in order to enhance the marine wealth and fish stocks in the kingdom. He added that the release process is done following three stages according to scientific standards that provides the appropriate environment and protection for fish. He added that the National Aquaculture Center took the necessary procedures regarding the quality of fish in order to ensure the success of the operation. Within the framework of enhancing marine wealth and increasing fish stocks, the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to adopt various initiatives that would contribute to increasing production, achieving food security and sustainable development. Among these initiatives is the development and implementation of a strategic project for national food production, as the government, through its ministries and competent authorities, has devoted efforts to prepare a comprehensive national strategy concerned with food security, fish farming and investment. In addition to these efforts, the Supreme Council for the Environment highlights its effective role in issuing laws and legislation to protect the environment and preserve its living resources and develop them for future generations. To achieve the desired goals, the private sector was encouraged to contribute to aquaculture in addition to cultivating fish species that meet the needs of local consumers in a way that ensures their availability throughout the year. These efforts came to meet the requirements of the next stage to increase the production of fish and improving its quality, in addition to raising food production levels. All these efforts and initiatives have effectively contributed to enriching fish stocks, increasing production and contributing to achieving food security requirements. 
The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim al Hawaj, visited the fourth constituency of the capital governorate to inspect the infrastructure development projects in the presence of the Representatives Council member and representative of the constituency, Hassan Bukhamas. During the visit, the Minister reviewed the infrastructure development project in Block 324 in Jafir, noting that the Ministry is working according to its plan to continue implementing infrastructure projects to enhance the quality of public services and fulfill the aspirations of citizens and residents. Representative Bukhamas affirmed the importance of the speedy implementation of the projects, adding that they are a priority for the Representatives Council and the Capital Secretariat Council in cooperation with the executive authorities. The chairman of the Capital Secretariat Council, Engineer Saleh Tarada, asserted the road and sanitary service development projects contribute to enhancing the quality of public life, hailing the role of the Ministry of Works in implementing infrastructure development projects. The Interior Ministry works to ensure the safety of pilgrims and facilitate all procedures necessary to ensure performing the Hajj rituals with ease. The Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs also plays a role through Bahrain's ports, which witnesses an increase in passenger traffic and facilitating pilgrims' travel procedures. It also takes all necessary procedures to facilitate the smooth movement of pilgrims and provides all means and modern electronic systems that aim to facilitate travelers' procedures. It also harnesses efforts by qualifying human staff and raising their efficiency, in addition to the plans that will be implemented for the departure and reception of pilgrims and travelers who are spending the summer vacation outside the kingdom.